Hello everybody. On this assignment, I'm going to work the first one with you so you can see how it's done. It's actually very simple. If you remember the rule, all vectors uh, that you wish to add together must be added tip to tail. Then the resultant is drawn tail to tail, tip to tip between the free ends. Now we're going to start with um, the page of the document that has a one at the top. There are two pages to this document. One has a one, one has a two. We're going to be working the, with the one and we're looking at the very top uh, graph problem. So we want to add um, four vectors together and they are labeled F1, F2, F3, F4. They all point different directions. But we want to add them together to see what the resultant force would look like. That means we have to place them tip to tail. So we're going to redraw the vectors on this blank graph, tip to tail, and then draw the resultant. Now, a good way to start is to, on your axes, and you'll notice you do have an X and Y axes set, Draw a dot for your starting position. This is where one free end will be for the resultant. Now, I'm going to draw them tip to tail in the order they're numbered. In reality, you should be able to draw them tip to tail in any order and still get the same resultant. That's because of that, um, I think it's the commutative property in math where you say A plus B equals B plus A. It doesn't matter what order you add them in, you still get the same answer. Same idea here. But I'm going to go in the order that they're numbered. Just makes it easier for everybody to, to see it that way. So what we do is we're going to start with the first vector. And I want you to notice it points directly to the right. So that means when we re redraw it, it must point directly to the right. And it's about two and a third squares long. So that's how long I'm going to draw it here. So I'm going to start. I'm going to draw it two and about a third squares long. Okay, so does that look about right to you guys? And I'm going to label it F1. All right, so we know which one it is. Always label, 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 label. I cannot tell you how important that is. Now, I'm gonna switch colors. If you've got colored pencils, I'd suggest you use them. F2. F2 is one, two, three squares long and points straight up in the positive Y direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pretend I could pick this up and slide it over and I'm going to put the tail of F2 on the tip of F1. So they'll be tip to tail. Put a little drop of super glue there. Draw it up three squares. Make your arrowhead. They're tip to tail. That's F2. Two down, two to go. Now, look at F3. F3 points directly to the left and it's about one and a half squares long. So I'm gonna pretend I could pick that up and slide it over until it's on the tip of that one. So we're gonna put the tail of F3 on the tip of F2. It's like we're making a path to follow from the start position, okay? So this is about a third, and here's one squared, but maybe it needs to go just a hair past that to make one and a half, okay? So there's F3. Okay, one more. We have one more. I'm gonna use purple for this one. All right, F4. Now this one's a little tougher because it's at an odd angle to the vertical and horizontal lines of the grid. Now, what we have to do is we have to count over and down to see what we need to do from the tip of F3, okay? So see, we, we could think about picking this up and sliding it back over here, but we have to make sure it's pointed the right direction, which means we need to make sure that we've got the correct number of squares over and down. So we've got to go 
about two and a quarter squares over to get above the tip and then we go down three squares. So that's what I have to do here. Okay, and if that's about a quarter there, then I need to go over one, two, and another quarter makes it about a half. And now I'm going to go down one, two, three squares. Just like that one. One, two, and a quarter. One, two, three. One, two, and a quarter. One, two, three. Got it? And I put a dot there because now I'm going to put my tail right there. And I'm going to put my tip right there. Okay, and I didn't draw it. You can use a straight edge if you wish. I would suggest it. Okay, there's F4. Now, so it's like we made a path. Here's the start. And we're going to walk this way, turn and walk that way, turn and walk that way, turn and walk that way. And this is our end point. So these are our two free ends. So those are what we're going to use to draw the resultant. Now remember what... Remember what we learned about displacement? It's on a straight line between the start and the end. So, tail to tail. See, that's the tail of F1. Here's the tip of F4. Tail to tail, tip to tip. The resultant is drawn right here. Just like this. You started here, you ended here. So, the resultant arrow must point from start to end if it's to be pointed the right direction. If you turn it the other way, that's incorrect. You've got half of the vector wrong. So make sure you point it from start to end. Okay? Tail to tail, tip to tip, start to end. Now, down here in the middle, there's a little question here. It says, direction of resultant above is closest to, and here's the key, well, it points directly to the left, and directly to the left is G. So the answer for the direction of the resultant is G. And you've got one of those little questions for each problem. Okay, so now you've seen it done. Remember, start with the origin, make you a start point. Then take the first vector, put its tail there, and draw it in whatever direction it should point. And then just keep drawing the rest of them tip to tail by seeing how many squares they are and in what direction. And if it's at an angle, you have to go over and down. Or maybe like this one, you'd go two squares over, three squares up. So wherever your last tip is, you'd, from that you would go two squares over, three squares up. Okay? So you've got three more of these to do on these two pages. The bottom one here, and then page two, you have one on the top and one on the bottom. And don't forget to answer the direction question for the resultant. So you have five vectors to draw on each one. The four that you're going to add tip to tail and then the resultant. Okay? Have fun with it. Bye-bye.